Hey, you Jacksonville SEO meetuppers. Listen, just wanted to put together a video to show you some of the results from the just the recording of our screen capture last night talking about the website reviews. And so we had folks volunteer for some different terms, and these are the terms that um, folks volunteered and agreed to be advertised for and that I have now had time to work on. And I want to apologize for Tim for ZipOnOver.com. I haven't had a chance to get that video up, but I got the uh, three of the other videos up before I uh, crashed last night around 2 a.m. And so we searched for Jackson Real Estate for DavidCoolRealtor.com, Apple Investment Research, and actually we ended up changing this to AAPL Investment Research on the fly while we were working there because savvy investors are looking for AAPL instead of just Apple. And then for trike, and then I think we talked about making it trike Jacksonville dealer um, for the search term for that. So I want to see how these search terms actually turned out. And so what I did is in our meetup group, I created a, um, an SEO website review message board. And so I did one for the trike, one for the AAPL, and one for Jacksonville Real Estate. And I actually used the keyword first on each of those. Oh, it is just trike Jacksonville. And I set up these little sub reviews. Now this is just a simple example of how we did this with, with context for what we're doing. But these rules are going to apply in other places as well. So if you look at the title tag, the title tag is Trike and Jacksonville, how it begins. Remember the important words at the front. Our H1 tag here is Trike Jacksonville. Our little um, breadcrumb says Trike Jacksonville. We talk about a little bit of the word trike, and let's see if I can make it show up uh, in, the, in the text. So the word trike shows up in the text a few times. It might even be a little too much. Um, I originally uploaded the videos to Viddler and then found out, I, Viddler, which is a video website, and then found out I couldn't embed those videos in our meetup. And so I had to then go back and enter it into Vimeo instead. So I went ahead and put a link here out to the video on Viddler here, which you can see, and entitled it Trike Jacksonville Search Engine Optimization Meetup. And then here is the video on Vimeo, which is titled Trike Jacksonville Dealer Search Engine Optimization Meetup. So that is all I did. I took the screen recording, uploaded it, put it in our meetup, and I'm not, now this is a sample. This isn't what you would do for your site, but I just want to show you the results we got just working together and passing a little link love around. Since we have the trike up at Trike Jacksonville Dealer. And I did change over, I'm actually doing this in Safari. Last night we were working in Firefox, so just to hopefully clear any cache overlay or anything. So Google search. So here is a. Uh, BJ site, he already ranks for Trike Jacksonville Dealer, fantastic, but I want you to look here. The manufacturers here, we have space 4 and space 5 on the first page of Google for Trike Jacksonville. Just from those two things that we did, one is our meetup group and one is the Vimeo group, right? On the front page of Google, two listings, two listings. And interestingly enough, look here, sort of a semi-listing. This is the Vimeo video we did for Jacksonville Real Estate, but because I had uploaded the Jacksonville Trike Dealer video, it actually is ranking, believe it or not, the Vimeo video for real estate is ranking underneath here. And so that's not bad results for for. 18 hours. Now what that tells me is Google is always flexing their muscle, right? And just because it's here today doesn't mean it'll be here tomorrow. So you have to always be thinking about how you can create new content. But the point that I want to make is when you're doing search optimization or site optimization, does it matter to you if you get a new customer, and in this case it's not a qualified video, but if it was a qualified video, because they saw a video or because they saw a link in a meetup? 
or if they actually came to you through a visit, visit to your site. So it's about optimizing yourself everywhere when you're doing optimization. Let's take a look at the next one here. Um, Jacksonville Real Estate. Much more competitive term. And I want to mention here, let's be very realistic. There's only 3,600 links here for Jack, trike, trike Jacksonville dealer. That should have been pretty simple to rank for. And even for Trike Jacksonville, um, 113,000. Let's see if we got anything in there just for good measure. Um, yep, here's our Vimeo video and Blinks, where it picked up our video out of Viddler and the Viddler video. So I actually have three listings for just Trike Jacksonville, a shorter term that's actually a little more competitive, oddly enough. So, um, so there's that one. Then we're going to look at Jacksonville Real Estate. This is much more competitive. Look here, 21 million results. 21 million results, which means that you're going to have to work harder, faster, smarter than the other guys to make this really crank for you. But um, you want to, I wanted to just look and see if any of the things that we did are in here anywhere. And I think I'm going to, I'm going to do a uh, tricky thing here in Google and change this to 100 results so I can scan down the page um, quickly. And it's not have to change the page. I'm looking here. I know I could do the uh, control F. Let's see here. Control F for find. And let's do SEO. Our SEO group isn't found. Um, Viddler. So it's still not, because this is such a highly competitive phrase, it is still not in the first 10 pages of Google after um, after our change there. If you rank, right, we're in the next 100 results and nothing there. So, so for Jacksonville Real Estate, I won't say it's a bust, but it's much more competitive. Let's take a look at next, then AAPL Investment Research. Oops. AAPL Investment Research. Now, I've, I've not done, gone to see how competitive this is, but 103,000, so still not super competitive, but not anything to sneeze at. Whoa, okay, look at this. Number one, the Viddler video. Number three, the Blinks video. And I thought maybe it was uh, from Viddler, but that actually is from Vimeo. It's an import from Vimeo. Here is our Meetup website. Here is a, our Vimeo video. That's four in the top five listings that are ours. And look here, Wiki Wealth Apple. Their site, and I don't know where it was before, their site, um, to the best of my knowledge, did not appear on page one for AAPL. I'm not sure we actually looked for it specifically. But they are now on the first page, or what would be the first page of Google, um, for AAPL Investment Research. And this is 24 hours, two videos, and a couple of backlinks. Um, oh, and within our site, by the way, I want to be clear, I also did link back to the page that they were trying to rank for within it. So the title of the page is about trike. There's a link out to a trike dealer. There's a link out to a trike video. And I've embedded a video about trike on this page. So it makes it relevant for the search engines. So that should make a wiki wealth pretty happy here. Then unfortunately, I'm sorry Tim, much apologies. We didn't get local business advertising video done yet, but I just wanted to show the results that we did get after less than 24 hours. So if you were making a video every day or uploading a new video every day or uploading search papers every day, it seems it seems overwhelming, but what is it you're trying to do for your business? You're trying to grow your business and you're trying to make more money. And these are just some of the things that we talk about when you come out to the Jacksonville Search Engine Optimization Meetup. So if you haven't been to one of our meetups before, we certainly invite you if you're looking at this video as part of something else. Um, you can see us online at meetup.com and just look for Jacksonville Search Engine Optimization. Or you can ping me, Michelle Chance. This is me right here. And you can find me online at www.redhawkstrategies.com.